Hello everyone and welcome back to the Glosser Channel. I am in Centennial Park in Sydney, Australia today with John Wilson. Welcome to the program. John, how are you doing today? Terrific, very good. Well, we have a very distinctive building directly behind you here in Centennial Park. It has a very distinctive logo and the words Mammon or Millennial Eden. Now you've brought me down here today for a specific reason. You want to give me a bit of an explanation as to this site and also its former history. Well, th this is a very important site because this is the site where the proclamation of the Commonwealth of Australia was read out to the crowd uh, of an estimated 60,000 people uh, on the 1st of January uh, 1901. And this is after a, a lot of history of people fighting for self-government and independence in Australia. And uh, finally, after uh, multiple referenda, uh, the people agreed uh, to uh, draft a bill uh, to constitute the Commonwealth of Australia. And uh, this was taken across to what they called the Sovereign Parliament in Westminster. And uh, there it was put on the table before uh, Joseph Chamberlain, and he made alterations. And <laughs> the, the delegates would not, uh, they weren't happy about it, uh, but uh, Joseph Chamberlain said, take it or leave it. And so they said, okay, we can't go back and then come back in for another referendum. So uh, they accepted the, fa the fact that the, the English Parliament or British Parliament were allowing Australia to become a commonwealth. Now, this is very important. The first pro proposal was a federation of Australasian colonies, which would have kept the monarchy in the picture. But by having a commonwealth, there is no more king or queen. In fact, when they had a commonwealth of England back in the 17th century, um, uh, the act said that they were declaring the commonwealth of England without any king or house of lords. So therefore, in a, a commonwealth, the, the people have sovereignty and own the land. Whereas in a monarchy, a king or queen has sovereignty and owns the land. But this, this is a site that's a great big double cross because the fellow who read out that proclamation was a fellow called Lloyd John Hopeton. And what he did was proclaim uh, independence or the Commonwealth of Australia, but then had no intention of carrying it out. Because when you have a, a new independent nation, whether it's United States or, or Israel or uh, anywhere in the country, in the world, once you have independence, you then sit down and draw up a constitution. But that was never done. Would, you say, would you say that Australia being a part of the Commonwealth means that the royal family or the British political system and legal system is still a part of our way of life. Many people, for example, would say, well, there's a number of countries, including Australia, including New Zealand, that are in the Commonwealth. No, How that, 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 that is a, uh, <laughs> a corruption of the word because uh, they've, they've seen the situation where they're, they're still trying to um, well, hoodwink us into the fact that we are under the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. And when they have this Commonwealth of Nations, that also should be a Commonwealth. But they are saying that it is still under the crown uh, as, as the head of the state, uh, as head of the Commonwealth. Are but they, you cannot have that. Are they simply doing this to, to benefit themselves? You mentioned that the Constitution got changed when it went back to Westminster. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 there was quite a lot of changes. In fact, the most critical change was uh, Joseph Chamberlain uh, erased uh, the phrase, this act shall bind the crown. So in other words, they had no intention of being liable for anything <laughs> that happened within the Commonwealth. And in fact, they've even had uh, court cases just recently where uh, David Fitzgibbon, he put the case to the uh, High Court of Great Britain uh, to say that oh, the wrong seals were used uh, in appointing the Governor General. But the High Court of England and Wales said, nothing to do with us. Once, once that act to constitute the Commonwealth of Australia became, came into effect, there was no more s s jurisdiction applying to England. They had nothing else to do. Go, they said, go away. Nothing I've, to do with us. I've heard the name David Fitzgibbon before. Is he a judge? Or? No, he's a, he's a barrister from, from Newcastle. Uh, but they're still holding on to the fact that uh, the 
Queen of England, or the Privy Council, had sway in Australia. But I've got letters from the uh, Privy Council saying, no, there are no orders in Council appointing Governor General, nothing to do with us, go away. And this, this is what happens with uh, David Walter. He put proposals to, the, uh, Palace, uh, to Buckingham uh, Palace, and they said, go away, go away. You are an independent country. Even Charles, when he came out here back in 88, he said, you're an independent country. Look after yourself, go away. But uh, by ha having this illusion that we are under the crown, we have all these structures in place. We still have so-called governors in the states. We still have so-called uh, governor generals. And these so-called appointments of judges are done by the governors. This is a whole fraud. And but <laughs> we have been living in what uh, some people call a five-star prison. We don't know <laughs> that we are being uh, ripped off. We are being ripped off by the elite. And this is the site of the greatest double cross of all times because they had no intention of allowing Australia to be a commonwealth in the full sense of being an independent, self-governing country. They still have uh, bills going through our parliaments where it's got to go to the governor for royal assent. And that's nonsense because it does not apply in a true commonwealth. It's a false commonwealth. In fact, uh, one fellow put out a book, Ian Henke, he said, Australia, the concealed colony. <laughs> and this illusion is carried on because this illusion keeps all of these uh, kangaroo courts in place. And what we have now is people being denied their fundamental rights in our courts. And this is why we are losing our country, we're losing our culture, and, and people just take us as suckers because we don't know the, the rule of law, we don't know the fundamentals of, of history, and if you don't learn from history, you don't repeat it.